So for this video, we'll be going through commission. So commission in its sense is just the extra or the bonus that a person gets for the sales or the services being offered. So they'll get it from their company that they are working with. So in this particular question, so there are three questions because the approach for them is based on the reasoning of the question. So it's always going to be a percentage amount of the sales made for the company, but the interpretation of the question will determine how you go about the question. So this first question says, a saleswoman woman sold $950 worth of goods during a week. If she is paid a commission of 3% on total sales, A, she will pay the commission. So the commission is always a percentage amount of the total sales. So if it says 3%, so you just write your 3%. So whatever the percentage is, you put it over 100 and multiply it by the total sales that you are supposed to take the commission out of. So in this case, it's $950. And commission, when you are working out, if you are having challenges with percentages, the easiest way to work it out is whatever the number at the top of the fraction is, you multiply it by the fill up the money and then you divide it by 100. So that would be 3 times 950 and divide that by 100 and you would get $28.50. So that would be the commission for this total sales. Now, part B you now, it says her gross wage if she is paid $150 per week. So it means that for the total wage or total salary, it's always the same thing. It's a commission plus her base, plus the person's basic wage. So in this case, the basic wage would be $150 and it should be added to the commission so the commission in this question would be the answer that we just worked out which is $28.50 so to get the total salary or the total wage for this person basic wage plus the commission so that would be $150 plus the $28.50. So that would give you a total wage of $178.50. And that's all there is to this part of the question. So once you're given the total sales, you just need to find the percentage of it and work it, work out the commission. And then for the total wage, you just add your commission plus the basic pay that you would be receiving. Example number two now. It says a man receives a monthly salary of $6,000 together with a 8% commission on all sales above $8,000 per month. Calculate his gross salary in a month if his sales amounted to $49,500. So the first thing you have to recognize is that it says that you will only get 8% commission on, on sales that are above $8,000. So it means that commission does not start when you start to sell, but it starts after you have reached the $8,000 mark. And everything above $8,000, you'll be getting an 8% commission on that. For the total month, they would have made $49,800. So it is what amount is above the $8,000, but it amounts when you are adding, when it's added to it, it would give you the $49,000. So simply just do this. So the total sales is 49500 They will only get commission for those that is above $8,000. So you would subtract the $8,000. Or you subtract the amount that the limit is. And then you get it. So that's 49000 minus 8000 To give you $41,500. So that is the amount that you are getting commission on. Not the entire amount because... The commission only started after you, the person would have made the $8,000 quota. So after you do the subtraction part, the next step now is to find the percentage of this money that you would be getting commission from. So it would be 8% of the 41500 
500. So it's 8% or 8 times the 41,500 and then you divide that by the 100 and you will get the answer which is 3,320 dollars and that would be the commission total salary salary is just like over this side it's a total or a basic wage or a basic salary plus the commission so the basic salary man receives a salary a monthly salary of six thousand dollars so that would be six thousand plus the commission which is three thousand three hundred and twenty dollars so six thousand plus three thousand three hundred and twenty dollars that would give you a total salary of $9,320. So it's all based on the understanding. So on this side, it's worked one way. This side is a slight difference with the first step. And this side now, it has a slight difference as well. So this says if a car salesman is paid $1,000 per week and 1.7% of the total sales as commission. What is the commission if the sales were $90,000, $85,000, $93,000, $200? Dollars. So first thing, you did not get the total sales, but you were given the things that were sold. So step one in this case would be to add all three amounts. So it would be 90,000 plus the 85,000 plus the 93,200. So when you add the 90,000 plus your 85,000 plus the 93,200, that would give you the total sales that this person would have made for the entire duration. And that would amount to 268,200 dollars. So that's the total sales. Now, the question says, what is the commission? So after you get the total sales, commission is always the percentage amount of your total sales for the marking price. So it's 1.7%, so that's 1.7 over 100, multiplied by the 268,200, because that is the total sales. So it's So let's work it out. 1.7 times 268, 200, 200 divided by 100. And that would give you 4,559 dollars and 40 cents. So that would be the commission. So the commission for this amount would be this amount. And the total wage, as usual, it's your commission plus the basic wage. So since they are paid a basic wage of $1,000, you will add that to the commission, which is the $4,559.40, or $4,559.40, and that would give you $5,000. $559.40. Now, all commissions are always worked out the basic, the basic way. One, find the percentage given of the total sales. The total sales is the thing that will change the whole and that will determine how your approach to the question is worked. So in cases like this where they are just giving you are just given the total sales with no conditions, you just need to go into work in the percentage and you'll be able to get your commission. Once you get your commission, you can add your commission to your basic wage or your basic salary to get your total wage or your total salary. In cases like example number two, if you are given a quota to say you have to make that amount of money before you start earning the commission using words such as above, after, etc. Once you are given a quota, you will subtract that quota value from the total amount of money that was made 
and then you would go into calculating the percentage for you to get your amount that you your total sales for you to get the percentage of for your commission and in case number three rather than being given the total salary at times you may be given the unit prices for what was sold and you would have to add those together to get your total sales and then you will be able to calculate the percentage value of it and there are cases where you can be given the, the individual unit costs and then you'd have to add them together to get your total total sales but there may be cases where you will be given a quota where you'll have to get your total sales subtract your quota and then you work into the percentage so just interpret the questions read for the interpretation because at the end of the day it will still be the percentage of the quota value percentage of the total sales and then you will be able to get your commission and for your total wage or your total salary it's your commission plus your basic salary once you're dealing with commission so i hope this video would have helped you and I encourage you to practice and to get your own questions from textbooks or from teachers etc and practice 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 because only through practice will you be able to remember and be able to apply these concepts continually so tune in again with mr brown while i explain other mathematical concepts <music>